The Owen James Report is brought to you by Grace Kennedy. This program is brought to you by the Grace Kennedy Group. We choose to care. Grace Kennedy Money Services has been here for you and your family. Here and abroad. Because we understand that you're receiving more than money. You're receiving their love. Grace Kennedy Financial Group has been here for you because we know it's more than just investments, insurance, or banking. It's about security and creating a path to realizing your dreams. For 90 years, honesty, integrity, and trust. The Grace Kennedy Group, we choose to care. Good evening, this is the Owen James Report. Though Berita Investments financials were hit hard by the beginning of the formal phasing out of repos last year, a factor which hit net interest income by 30%, the company moved to provide two options for its investors. Berita's managing director Ian McNaughton says the two new funds, the FX Bond Fund and the Jamaican Dollar Portfolio Fund, have proven successful in six months. As at the period under review, September, 20, September 2014, those funds have grown to have funds under management of $2.5 billion in six months. We continue to provide viable options for our clients. We continue to make our clients' money work for them. We continue to provide a safe, friendly business atmosphere for our clients. McNaughton was speaking at Berita's sixth public annual general meeting last Thursday. The Jamaican dollar fared well against the U.S. and Canadian dollars today, but weakened against sterling. Here are today's numbers. The U.S. dollar weakened by two Jamaican cents, closing at an average selling rate of $115.58, whilst its Canadian counterpart lost 35 Jamaican cents to close at an average selling rate of $92.97. However, the British pound sterling strengthened by 26 cents to close at $177.74. The commercial banks and other licensed financial firms bought 47.1 million US dollars equivalent and sold the same sum. News on the Jamaican stock market now, where gains by a slew of financial stocks, including the big two banking groups, triggered advances in the indices today. The main JC index jumped by almost 1,400 points or 1.7 percent. 23 stocks traded with 11 advancing, 5 declining and 7 holding firm. The winners included Grace Kennedy, JMMB, Lasco Financial Services, NCB, the day's big winner of 5.4%, RJR Group, Sagicor Group and Scotia Group. The losers included Caribbean Producers, which plummeted by 8.7%, Lasco Manufacturing, Mayberry Investments and Sagicor's Real Estate Ex Fund. Now finally, International oil prices fell by more than 2% today as investors got nervous about oversupply of oil and a stronger U.S. dollar. International benchmark Brent crude settled down $1.32 at $58.90 a barrel. U.S. crude futures, also known as West Texas Intermediate or WTI, settled down $1.36 or 2.7% at $49.81. Brent briefly rose, setting a season high of $60.67 after the comments by the Nigerian minister, Alison Maduke, about a possible cut in supplies. Maduke is also OPEC's president. However, analysts said the gambit will still likely fail without Saudi Arabia's support. And that's the Owen James Report. Good evening. The Owen James Report was brought to you by Grace Kennedy. This program was brought to you by the Grace Kennedy Group. We choose to care.